Good afternoon and welcome to High Noon Prayer. This is Pastor Logan. Got a quick question for you. How would your prayer life be affected if you, in your mind and in your actions, had never done anything wrong? Like you were perfectly 100% right in all of your dealings. How would that affect your prayer life with God? How would that affect your attitude towards God and, and how do you think his attitude towards you would be? Well, I want you to ponder that question because the good news is you are perfectly right before God. Romans chapter 8 verse 1 says this, There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. And I'm just going to leave you right there with that one statement from Scripture, from the book of Romans, chapter 8, and verse 1. He says, there is therefore now, and now is now, is now, is now. Like right now, I'm in the now. A second from now, I'll still be in the now. As two seconds from now, when I enter into those next two seconds, I'll still be in the now. A year from now, when I enter into the year from now, I'll still be in the now. And every time I enter into now, which is right now, I, there is no condemnation, no pronouncement of a judgment, no wrong that I have done in the eyes of God because of being in Christ Jesus, past, present, future. So right now, there is no condemnation. My relationship with God is intact because there is no condemnation. And so when I receive that by faith, you know, the other part of the scripture, it says, for those who walk not according to the flesh, but according to the spirit. That's not in this particular manuscript, but some manuscripts you'll find that. And so sometimes people will lend that, lead, lend that to, okay, okay, it's, it's about, you know, still an action, walking in the spirit. Well, walking in the spirit simply means, simply means that we're walking according to who we are now in our spirit man, which is the true likeness of Christ. So I want you to receive this by faith, not by your feelings, but receive this by faith right now that you are the righteousness of God. You are the very likeness of Jesus Christ on the inside. And so hopefully that will do something for your attitude while you are praying uh, hopefully it'll do something with the way you perceive God perceiving you. And that is his very likeness. So pray with confidence today. Pray with boldness today. Pray with a knowing that God has stamped his seal of approval on you forevermore. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. And again, I come to you without any sense of condemnation or judgment, or feelings of inadequacy, or inferiority. And I pray today with that in mind, along with those who are with me. And Father, we thank you for the great work you have done in our lives. We thank you that you're with us, and that you'll never leave nor forsake us. And so Father, while we're going all through different challenges in our life, trials in our life, we thank you that, that because we are yours, and you are ours, that you're taking us successfully through every single challenge, that you are indeed our strong tower, that you are our refuge and our fortress, and you we do trust. We know that you'll take us to the other side. We know, Father, that we are held tightly in your hands. And we know, Father, that nothing formed by the enemy against us shall prosper because you have us. And so I speak this over us today. I speak this over our members of New Day Christian Church and those who will be on looking and family members and, and all those who have called upon the name of Jesus who may look at this today. 
I thank you that we have such certainty in our prayers because of what you've told us, that you've placed us in your very nature and in your very likeness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you and have a wonderful day today. And uh, pray with that in your mind is that you are so wonderfully right with God. Make that your attitude today, not in a sense of arrogance, but in a sense of confidence. Thank you for it and have a wonderful day in Jesus' name.